Hi guys, before the video starts, the Takedown at Malion's Black Site Raid releases on the 21st of November and I'm looking for people to play with on the day, so if you're interested in play on PC, add my Epic Games. Thank you, love you, bye. Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a unique item guide in Borderlands 3 and in this video we'll be looking at the Torque Shotgun known as the Thumper. The red text on the weapon reads, the happiest place on Pandora. And what's special about this weapon is its massive splash damage radius. This particular one I got has plus 622 to splash damage radius, so when a grenade that this shotgun shoots explodes, if there's any enemies remotely nearby, it will pretty much hit them. To get this weapon, we'll be farming the target of opportunity on the Splinterlands, known as DJ Dead Skag. Head to the spawn point located here on the map, and from here, if you do a U-turn to the left, you'll enter a COV nest. There's a small little area at the beginning and then there's a bigger area before another smaller area and in this big area DJ Deadskag will spawn at the end but in order to get him to spawn you actually have to clear out most of the enemies that spawn so in the first area it's a good rule of thumb just to clear them anyway I don't think you have to kill all of them but it's just better to get them all cleared at the beginning in the second area all of the ones that spawn before the platform must be killed as well and then on the platform there'll be two or three once you start killing these then DJ Deadskag will spawn and he'll also spawn some more troops to come and fight you. It's just a good idea to clear most of the enemies. Most of them are quite squishy, so it's not too difficult. I first want to say I've read about and it said that this gun could come in any element and I've had this weapon probably about 10 times. I farmed DJ Deadskag quite a bit before just to see if he had a legendary weapon opposed to just the thumper and every time I've only had a cryo version drop. But I'm determined to think that this is only a cryo version weapon, but I could just be getting very unlucky. This shotgun is a very forgiving gun to use. Because of how big the explosion radius is, all you have to really do is shoot it into a crowd and it will mostly hit any of them. From these initial explosions then you can start getting closer and getting some precise shots on to deal some bigger damage. The damage itself as well is pretty good if you get an impact on the enemy but especially with the cryo version you don't really have to get the shots to impact on the enemy because if you get them remotely close then they'll freeze the enemies in place and then it makes it easier for you to hit them. The projectiles will bounce a couple times before they explode if they don't collide with an enemy. The projectiles dramatically decrease in speed once they've made contact with the surface once. They'll uh, start to bounce and then sort of pebble so it makes it a lot easier to hit where you want to. Like I said, the damage is really good. The reload, if you do end up reloading, is not tragic at all. The magazine size by default is uh, quite low. My Mo's build allowed me to get up to 18, so that's over doubling the magazine size. But this particular one I got only consumes one ammo per shot. Being able to shoot eight in itself is still pretty good for the damage that it deals. The fire rate as well is pretty decent. There's a slight delay, so you can't just spam it out like a Jacob's weapon, for example, but it's still fast enough to get some really good damage off. Last thing I want to say, especially with the Bloody Harvest event with the ghosts about, especially when using this weapon, it can be really annoying to have to switch because the ghost resists cryo. So I just sort of let them collide with me and I do not notice a difference whatsoever because you're sort of relying on the explosions opposed to precise hits. It's just really easy just to keep spamming the trigger. The grenades will find themselves to the enemies and explode and deal that damage for you. It's a very nice weapon to have and I definitely recommend you guys pick this up. That's it for the video guys. I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe for future unique item guides on my channel and yeah, see you in the next video.